everybody, my name is Jamie. Welcome or welcome back to Dreaming in Jungle. Um, today I have another plant care video for you. Um, this one I'm going to focus on a plant that I thought I would never be able to take care of, the um, pitcher plant. This is my about a year old pitcher plant. Actually, I purchased this plant almost exactly a year ago today. I bought it um, June 30th, 2019, and today is June 29th, 2020. So um, almost exactly a year. Um, so I will tell you right off the bat that the pitcher plant is something that I was kind of terrified to own because when I was a kid, I owned um, a Venus flytrap. That was my only other carnivorous plant. In case you didn't know, a pitcher plant is a carnivorous plant. Um, my Venus flytrap, I managed to kill pretty spectacularly, um, as I've managed to do with lots of other plants in my life. But this was maybe the first one that I really, truly killed really, really, really badly. Um, and I think it's because I fed it hamburger. Um, I kept my Venus flytrap in my room with, I think it came in a little container, so it had some humidity. Um, not sure if I left the cover on or not, so I might have killed it with lack of humidity too. But um, there were no flies in my room. It's not like I had any sort of bugs in my bedroom when I was a kid. I'm sure any fruit flies or gnats or anything like that would have been in the kitchen with fruit or whatever. Anyway, there was no food coming from a direct source for my Venus flytrap, so I decided to feed it hamburger, as you do. I don't know if I looked that up. That was pre-internet. I am old enough so that there was really no real access to the internet until I was an older teenager, not 13. So anyway, um, after that, I was pretty scared to ever own a carnivorous plant again. But last year, I finally bit the bullet and decided to um, purchase one online. I bought one from an Etsy shop, which I will insert the name of because I can't remember it right now. Um, and I will also insert a picture of what my my um, pitcher plant looked like when I first bought it. Um, I'll insert that here. Um, so anyway, um, Fast forward to a year later. That pitcher plant came teeny, teeny, tiny, um, like seriously, like in a two inch pot. The pitchers were about, I don't know, like half an inch. They were tiny um, and they pretty much all dried up and died immediately. So I thought this guy was a goner. Um, I thought there was no way it was gonna live. However, this is a year later. Um, it is, Whoa, it's bouncing all over the place. So this picture you can see is like same height as my finger. It is huge, it's huge. Um, I also have a pencil in here. I will tell you that um, if my plants aren't standing up perfectly straight and I'm worried about them, I will find some sort of hard, um, sharp, straight object. That's what she said. Um, and put it in the pot so that um, the plant stands up a little straighter. This one was in a window and I think it was getting, maybe it was getting a little too much light because it was almost like it was leaning away from the window. So um, that kind of brings me to light requirements for this guy. So um, I had this in a north facing window, which I think maybe was too much light for it. So I have moved it in the last, in the last three, three weeks or so. I've moved it out of that north facing window just a tiny bit. I think it was doing great in that window. And obviously it's been in that window for a year. It's flourishing, um, but it was leaning out. So I moved it about a foot from the window, not far, um, but it's just out of the, the indirect light and it seems to be doing great. The As soon as I moved it out of that window, this is when this giant pitcher started growing. Um, so I think it's doing fine there. I water this guy about once a week, just when the soil feels dry, I add some water and seems to really do well. My house isn't particularly um, humid in any way, but I think these guys probably would do better with a little bit of humidity and it is summertime. So the fact that it's, 
doing so wonderfully could be a combination of the fact that it's humid and also that I moved it out of the window a little bit. Um, so as you can see, it does have a couple of pictures. I've got what three on there right now, four, four, I think. Um, and they do kind of, um, sometimes it'll grow a pitcher and the pitcher will dry up and die. Sometimes it'll get bigger. I'm not sure what causes that to happen. Um, this one in particular, I will do a little close up of the big one so you can see what's inside. larger one hasn't opened yet so can't really see um, the way these work and you can I'll do the close-up um, but you can see that this picture has a rim whoop, it's bouncing quite a bit has a rim around the edge that's a slippery rim and if ooh, it's very not um, focused anyway um, if a bug or creature of some kind gets onto that rim, it will slide right down in and um, end up in the liquid in the bottom, which is called um, phytotalmata. I'm not sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, but somewhere in that general range. Um, and basically they drown and then they dissolve in the liquid. So kind of gross, but also kind of interesting. I have actually seen these so big that um, a mouse got in there. I really hope that doesn't happen. With mine, it's bad enough when a cat gets a mouse in my house and then I have to take care of it. I don't really want to see that in a pitcher plant, so here's hoping that that doesn't happen. But anyway, um, other than that for care, I don't really do a whole lot with this guy. In the winter, I might spritz the leaves a little bit, but really this guy is surprisingly easy to take care of. So highly recommended if not just for the coolness factor. I mean, pitcher plants are awesome. I also would recommend that this guy hangs. Um, I do not hang this plant because my husband doesn't love hanging plants in our house. Um, I think he's afraid they're gonna like crash down and break things. And um, he basically built this house from, not from scratch, but took it down to the studs and rebuilt everything. So I think he's a little nervous about anything um, ripping away at our house that he worked so hard on. So I don't tend to try to hang any plants other than the one behind me, but that is hanging from um, a hook on the door, which is a really good way to hang plants if you um, can't hang them from the ceiling. So anyway, pitch your plant. There you go, plant for the day. I hope you're having a great day. I hope my plants have brightened up your day a little bit, just like they do for me every day. See you later, bye-bye.